Welcome to MCC TV. Now guys, I'm sat here making a video, eight months on, um, from when I was making a video about Antonio Conte being sacked. Sarah hasn't been sacked, but the club are obviously in talks about his performances, they're disappointed, and discussions are being held about his future. Well, I'm disappointed with, I'm disappointed with the players, I'm disappointed with the board, I'm disappointed with lots of things at Chelsea, I'm disappointed with Chelsea Football Club, yeah, I'm disappointed with Sarri as well, but I don't think it's all to blame on Sarri, you know? Um, time and time again we see this happening, managers coming in and out, in and out, fans wanting, loving the manager, hating the manager, wanting him out. What is it? What what is even going on anymore? Let's get into the video. First things first, this video is going to be controversial. Let's face it, and um, these videos always are. So everyone knows I'm sorry, in. I'm sticking by that. Um, I don't think it would be beneficial for us to bring a manager in this late on in the season. Um, I'm sick of. Chelsea constantly bringing managers in and out. I know that's the way the club is now, but it's just disappointing to see that we aren't just sticking with the manager and seeing what we can do. Um, fans are jumping on Sarri's back, saying Sarri out, Sarri out. Then fans were the same fans that were buzzing when he came in. Then fans were the fans that wanted Conte out. Then were the fans that wanted Jolsey out. I just don't really agree with some some of the fans, you know. Um, and I suppose it... You do get frustrated reading certain things on Twitter when fans are saying Sarri out and saying offensive things about him, like personal comments and stuff, because it's just not needed. Then were the fans that weren't twining after Spurs when we beat them, you know? Um, but as soon as we lose against Everton, everything's all up in the air again. Then fans weren't complaining when we beat Dynamo Kiev. It's as if it's a be-all and end-all of things. It's as if the club is down in the dumps completely. Um, it's not like that. I mean, look where we're in the Europa League. Yeah, we're not doing as good as we want to be doing in the Premier League. But at the end of the day, you've just got to settle for that. A new system's coming this season. Um, it's good to see that someone has actually changed it up a bit and brought in a new system. And... It's not going to always go to plan. You can't expect a manager to hit it off straight away and win some it in his first season and get silverware. He's got to give them a chance. And I'm just sick of the reactionary fan base we've got. As soon as something goes wrong, everyone sparks up about it. Or out, out, out. Like, where, where's the loyalty? Where's the let's give him time? We can see what he can do. No one was talking about it at the start of the season when we had an unbeaten record. They said, Savvy's this, Savvy's that. And I did actually put a tweet out on Twitter um, yesterday. And you know something? It's actually gone down really well. I've got 500 likes on it and 60 retweets. And I'll read it to you guys if you didn't see it. I said something that I felt was really true. So some Chelsea fans, one week, I hate Savvy, get him out of my club. Next week, OMG, we've beat Spurs, we're the bollocks. Next week, lost against Everton, Sarri ball out. It's as simple as that, really. And it looks so bad reading it as to how reactionary our fan base actually is. But that's a, that is actually how it is. Like that, that <clears throat> that's not faking it. That's not trying to make it look any better than it is. It's just simply that bad. Um, and I actually, I actually am very bewildered by some of the Chelsea fans that want Sarri out in the sense that I don't, I don't get what they think he's going to achieve. Like, it, it happened with Conte. How many times can fans sit there and see this happen? It, it, it is completely beyond me. Can't f fans see that it's probably just going to happen again if we bring another manager in? They'll probably just go through the same process and get sacked, just like Jules Mourinho and Antonio Conte did, and if so, Savary. Like, how many times are fans willing to see this? It, it, it just bewilders me. And I'm not just judging it on Savvy's situation. I'm also looking in the past and what's happened with managers in the past as well. Um, and the way that managers have come in and out. It's just a continuous cycle and it's going to continue going on and on if we keep sacking managers and bringing new ones in. It's just not working out for us. And as I said, it, it does frustrate me seeing these fans' comments because at the end of the day, a fan base is a fan base. So you're going to obviously will take notice of what other fans are saying in your fan base and it's just unbelievable um yeah the team isn't what it is we know it's not what it is and um, so he has been stubborn he's made some changes changes etc but at the end of the day it's just how many times are fans wanting to see this continuous cycle and it's not just the manager like the the players like at the end of the day they're out on the field 
Sammy, yeah, and she took us in this, that, and the other. But the flat plays are out on the field. How many times do you want to see it? And someone actually tweeted on Twitter, and I agreed with this. Fans are just so willing to sit... Well, not... Well... The manager just keeps getting thrown under the bus with the players every single time. And it's, you can't sack the team, you can sack the manager. That's, that is the easy option, though, to sack the manager. How many times can we, can we just keep seeing our players underperform and just get away with it and then just the manager goes? I, and I suppose I'm saying that in such frustration because it's happened about three, well, three times in, um, regularly with, like, Josie Conte. Savvy, they just stop playing for the manager. They just don't have as much enthusiasm. And when Savvy's coming out saying stuff like the players are um, struggling with like the mental attitude, etc., that that that's the only thing he can actually like come out and say about it. Because at the end of the day, that is his backup. That and you know something, I agree with that when he says that. Some fans are getting on his back saying, "Oh, the manager can't even motivate the players." Right, fair enough. But at the end of the day, if the players give up, Savvy's obviously going to say it's a mental attitude because they're not playing for him and that is not fair. They've got to think about the fans. How many times are the players wanting to see the fans do this, you know? How, yeah, how many times are the fans wanting to say, sorry, the players do this? Like, it, it, it just bewilders me. And I am going to sit here and say, I don't know what it will do if we bring in a new manager. It will be the same old story. And it just really frustrates and anger me. Because, I'm, yeah, you could sit here and say, oh, let's get a new manager in. But I know if we appoint a new manager, then in another six, eight months, I'll probably be sat here and saying it again. How many times can you have that hope? People, actually, fans think that we're just going to bring in a new manager and they're going to last for God knows how long. It's just not like that anymore. Um... Jose Mourinho come, like, obviously, was here. Conte was here. We all thought, oh, yeah, they're going to last some time. Conte won a trophy, etc., etc. It just doesn't happen. And some fans might say, oh, yeah, but we don't care. As long as we're winning silverware, bring in a new manager and keep them coming in and out the door. I'm not happy with that as a football fan. I want to see my team have a manager that lasts. I don't want to see a manager coming in and out. I want to see loyalty there. That's what football's about. It's such a such a horrible situation at the moment. Um, and, yeah, again, it, it's just... In a way, you could say, yes, yeah, sorry, it was a mistake taking a job. Like, what, what, also, what manager's actually going to be attracted to the Chelsea job if it comes up? If Savvy gets sacked, obviously, they're in talks with him. He's obviously on thin ice at the moment for that to even be in discussion. If Savvy does actually get sacked, if that does happen, then who's going to be attracted to that job at Chelsea? Like, how many times do fans want to see? How, will, will managers be a, like, <clears throat> Um, attracted to a job where they know that they're just gonna they haven't got the full backing it's not going to be a, a strong job where you're in a strong position um decisions are always made above you um the players will just give up on you if they don't don't quite like the style or whatever it, it it's just so frustrating um and i don't know how many times i can sit here and talk about this because as i said i went off on one when Conte got sacked you know, I went fuming and I said, no, I shouldn't be sacked. Everyone, well, not everyone, but most people got on my back. Everyone said I was absolutely delusional. I've sat here eight months on saying the same thing about salary, you know? And you know something, I actually feel like, I felt like there was more of a split when it came to the Conte situation. I felt like more fans wanted him to go and stay, but I feel like this is more 50-50. Um, but quite a lot of the strong Chelsea fans that go week in, week out are actually wanting them to go. Um, and I just don't really understand that. Yeah, it's frustrating um, to see the players not have the good attitude, etc. But at the end of the day, I actually feel quite shocked that some Chelsea fans are coming out and saying, oh, yeah, this isn't my Chelsea, etc. But it's the players on the pitch as well. That's their attitude. You can't have a, a man... One manager can't sort every single player's mental mindset out. Then players will have to go on that field and want to play for Chelsea. It's not the manager's responsibility. Yeah, it's the manager's responsibility how he plays the team, etc. But the players should just want to do it for the club anyways. Um... And fans can't give me the crap and come back at me and say, yeah, we lost 2-0 against Everton. Yeah, but we won against Spurs. We got we we weren't far off winning um, the Carabao Cup final at Wembley. 
We got through on the Europa League. So where's the explanation for that? The players just give up when they want it and they pick and choose that and that's not all right because at the end of the day, that comes back on the manager and makes him look bad. And it's just not fair. It's such, a, such an unfair situation. Um, yeah, I think I need to chill out. I'm just very shocked and frustrated and I'm not going to sit here and say sorry out because I'm simply not and I actually know I've had a lot of discussions with my dad on the phone about it um about sorry etc because obviously my dad supported Chelsea all his life and he's obviously got a, a really good knowledge on managers etc because he's supported for Chelsea for 50 odd years and I and when we talk about it He's not even sorry out. It's just not going to benefit us in any way. Um, and if you if you really think about it, you look at the logistics and you don't just have a knee-jerk reaction, stop looking. The fans that are saying sorry out, stop looking on the surface of the situation, thinking that it's just the manager to blame because that's an easy way out. That's an easy option. You need to look at the whole picture. It's, it's a bit like um, somebody being at a job yeah, there's one person, but there's everything else around that, the institution around that, the people that work with around that, the lives around that. And at the end of the day, it's not just savvy. People are picking up on one point, one point. But at the end of the day, it's everything else around that. And it's just so frustrating to see, and I just don't get it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below all your thoughts and opinions. Are you savvy in, savvy out? I'm savvy in, and I think I've got given a very good explanation as to why I'm savvy, savvy in, you know, and I just want to finish this video also by saying that people are complaining about when Savvy's coming out saying the players are struggling, etc. You know, so I think that's actually quite a wise move <clears throat> from Savvy, it's a bit of a cry for help to, to say, you know, these these players are just giving up on me, they're not, you know what I mean, they just stop playing for the manager and it's sickening, you know, and um, I'm not saying that Sarri is 100% in the right because obviously in this situation no one ever is but I'm, I'm giving the reasons as to why I'm Sarri in and why this situation just needs to settle down. Um, at the end of the day we need to give the manager time to see what he can do um, and I know fans would be on my back and disappointed to hear me say that if there was Sarri out but at the end of the day how many times do you want to see this happen? It's, it's just not a lot in football anymore is that? Up the child's thanks.